first of all, cocktails with Chloe. How fun is this? Because I feel like you need some fun in your life. I need some fun. I need some cocktails. So we're <laughs> combining the two, and it's going to be super fun. I'm excited. Yeah, it kind of takes the load off the year a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this show was supposed to debut in December, and then all this stuff happened, and I'm super happy it got pushed to January. I just feel like all this... BS had to stay in Leave 2015. And, yes. So I didn't want to start a new venture and not so good of a year. New year, good energy, new show, and I'm excited. Nice. Do you have a go-to cocktail that you love? Well, I'm a champagne girl. Mm. I do like just the look of champagne and also sexy. I just feel like it gets me where I need to go. So I feel like <laughs> and that's... And quickly, champagne yeah, does champagne do just, And I don't get a hangover from champagne. Oh, I know nice. a lot of people do. I never do. Nice. Will you have a Chloe cocktail that you will give to your guests when they come? Well, we have featured cocktails on every show, um, which is awesome. Yesterday we did a test show and there was this uh, cocktail called the Detox it did not seem like I was detoxing. I got, I was like, I need to stop drinking. I had to start putting water in my cup because I was getting a little too buzzed on my test show. You're like, I don't even remember. Right. I was I'm like, I need anymore. to focus this and run this train. So I got to stop drinking. So you were going to have a lot of famous friends and family stop by. Let's yes. talk about that a little bit. Who's yeah. on your roster of people that are going to be coming through? Well, we don't have a specific guest list yet. Everyone is up and pending and kind of like moving right now. Nothing is set in stone, which I know we air in like a week or so. Because so. I love the remake of your kitchen. And I, and you know, I think when I see it, I obviously, I always think of you and Rob because you guys yeah. are so close. Yeah. Will we see him on the show? No, I just got asked that, and I'm not going to have Rob on this this season, but I'm hoping I'm having Next a season, season two or three, and I would like to either open it up with him or finale it up with Rob. Yeah. So I think that's our goal. It's good to have goals, and Rob and I have talked about it. So How's he doing health-wise? He's good. I mean, he's good. Again, leaving all the crap in 2015, so he had his hospital scare, but he was in and out. I said, at least you're out before 2016 because we're going to start 2016 good. And he's taking it seriously, and I think everything happens for a reason. So if that was going to, you know, wake him up a little and take, not his life, but take his, like, health more seriously, mm -hmm. then that's what it was there for. How serious know? did that get? Oh, it was really scary. I mean, he, we were at home, and he just kept having trouble breathing. And, of course, I'm like, oh, hmm. what's, are you dramatic? Like, you know, I'm thinking of it, like, what's wrong? You're thinking, what's wrong? What do you mean you're having trouble breathing? Right. So, like... We had a humidifier. Let's like just all this stuff. Like, why? Are, like, what are you talking about? Or, like, is this a cry for attention? You don't know. You think all these sure. things, and then we just realized that it was more serious. And just hearing him breathe was really bad. And I'm not. Sh I forget what it's called, but something to do with diabetes. His insulin was just crazy. Too high. The and it levels. um, it's like an insulin. I forget what the word is, but something happened where it could shut down his body. So mm. we got it in time. But and he's doing much better. Yeah, he's doing much better. But I mean, you have to be aware. You have to know your body. And now we know what's wrong, basically. I know for you, and, and even for myself, working out is such a big yes. stress reliever. Yes. And it just gets you going. Have you encouraged him at all to, like, come and do the Chloe workout? or to Yeah, get... no, and I will go. We live behind gates, which we're so lucky. So even because he does not want to be seen right now, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So we'll go on, like, little hikes where I'll just encourage him. Let's just even, like... Mm -hmm go around the neighborhood like it doesn't have I think people think working it has to be so rigorous and intense and it no, could just small be steps to get yeah, there yeah you have to start somewhere I started by going I think twice a week and then you slowly work your way up you get so into it and you love those endorphins you love the way you feel for me it's about mental like it's not even about I don't weigh myself it's not about a number I just love well, how I feel after. And I feel with you, you're so the rock. So, you know, and you really are, even not even for Rob, but for Scott too. Thank you. And you know, one thing I was curious about is now with everything that's switching mm -hmm. kind of with Scott and yeah. Courtney, it's like, do you think they'll ever work things out? Because I know you and him are so close too. We are so close. Um, you know, I I never say never, mm -hmm. especially in our family, you can't ever say never. <laughs> and uh, things change so quickly, but I think their focus right now is about Scott's well-being and also the sure. kids um but I don't think anyone's ruling anything out but I don't think that's even a priority right now um how is Scott is he on the right path I know that he had talked mm -hmm. about moving close staying in the neighborhood yeah. moving close to you guys he so he does can be live close, close to the to kids us. and yeah. I think it's good that he's close to you yeah <laughs> he does live close to us we're all still very close um and I think it's great just for him to have all of us as a support system it's we all live like within four minutes of each other just besides Kendall she lives in the city we all live in our little valley area 
But I think that's awesome. And even just being able to still socialize, but just go to like house to house, like have family dinners and this and that. It's such a, like, you need that family dynamic. And, you know, Scott doesn't have that. And so he has it with us. And I think everyone needs that. But he's doing great. I'm really proud of him. I'm always so impressed with you, Chloe. You know, you're balancing this new show. And I feel, again, that you are the person that everyone comes to for advice. You have Rob that comes to you. You have Scott that comes Mm -hmm. to you. And then you're juggling, of course, Lamar. Mm -hmm. How is that going on your plate as well? It's good. Again, someone else who is fighting for a better life, fighting for themselves. And, like, the hospital or the... The hospital is fantastic. But the, the therapists were saying, they always say, oh, my God, you're you're trying so hard and you're doing so well. And I'm like, so people just don't try. Like, a lot of people don't care to fight. Like, they'll just, they're happy just being how they are. Hmm. So I didn't realize that because all I know is what I see. And sure. so I love hearing that. I love hearing that there is, they see such a great fight in him. And So his spirit is high and yeah, he's Yeah, his he's spirit motivated. is high. Um, laughs a lot and has a good energy and that's what's important. I want all these boys to just be happy from the inside <laughs> out and you know like Well this I'm is great. You're getting to be great really practice. positive in twenty sixteen. You're getting great practice. So when all these guests come on your show, <laughs> yeah. you're able to get them, you oh, know, I can in handle a great it all. space. I can I like handle it. it all. I like it. How are you doing? How are you doing juggling all of it? You know, you have this amazing new relationship and you look stunning and you Thank look happy. You. But then you're still having to deal with you know, Everything. things that are your priorities, <laughs> yeah. things that are your priorities and that yeah. where your heart's still invested. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I'm handling it pretty well. I think you're handling yeah. it damn well, girl. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm a really good multitasker. So I see, but even just with work and everything, getting back into like a work routine, that's also an adjustment. But like I said, I'm a huge planner. I schedule things. I like close CD is what I call it. Like I just have to take one day at a time. Right. If I, look at too far into the future I feel overwhelmed and I get um I get a lot of anxiety so like that me too okay good (laughs) so I do one day at a time I'm like let's just see how I feel see how I go and that kind of gets me through every day Amazing. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the OJ story. I know yeah. David Schwimmer talked mm-hmm. about he's going to play your dad. Yeah. And he wanted to talk to you girls. He wanted to talk to the family, but he wanted to do it off camera. Mm-hmm. How did that whole process come about? And, and did you guys have a chance to sit down with him? And no, I didn't. I didn't know he wanted to talk to me. But hi, David. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know he spoke to my mom. Um, my mom was really influential talking to Selma Blair, who plays her. I, I remember think. she yeah. said it was amazing to be able to get on the phone yeah. and get so much insight. And my mom and her are actually good friends now. Selma's the best. She came to our Christmas Eve party. Aww. And um, my mom helped David with a lot of information about my dad, which he said was really insightful and great. Um, but I don't believe anyone has spoken to my sisters and I. Well, not to me. But. Do you get, uh, I, I don't even know if it's just butterflies are anxious to see this come about, to see to kind of relive this, these events? You know, I really, I don't. I was also so young when it happened mm. that I'm actually excited to see it, to see like what I remember and don't. My dad kept Robert and I really sheltered from that. Right. Um, Courtney and Kim would go to court with my dad all the time. Wow. Um, they were much more involved. I was really close to OJ's daughter, so I would always be with her for like support during that time. Like we were kids. I think I was like eight or something. So we're all sheltered from that. We're sure. Just to us, we're just playing and hanging out. Um, so I don't remember it as vivid as Courtney and Kim do. So that's a good question. But for me, I don't have anxiety. I'm more curious. Not anxiety, to but it. just to, to relive kind yeah. of seeing your dad on the screen and being played by somebody else. Well, I'm more excited because obviously I, I miss my dad. And I don't think a lot of people, a lot of the younger generation know that my dad's the first Kardashian. And so I want to, I just... I'm excited to see how they portray him. I hope it's great because my father was such an incredible man. Mm. And I don't see why it wouldn't be. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm more, I'm excited. I'm still a spectator. I want to see it. And finally, what is your 2016 hope or dreams or even ideas for this show? Like, what do you hope comes out of all of this? I really hope what comes out of all of this is that people really enjoy themselves and have a good time. I know talk shows could be really intimidating and scary. I still sometimes get nervous doing talk shows because they're going to ask these hard-hitting questions. And I just want it to be fun. And if something gets, yeah, we're going to still touch on those, I guess, serious things, but in a really fun way and where it's, like, enjoyable and you don't feel so on the spot. Kind of like my interview now, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> well, with the sparkly dress, it's fun and, and you're it distracted. it makes it more you're festive. Like, hey. <laughs> 
Chloe. You do. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate really, it. Really, you're you're just knocking it out of the park. Thank not you. only professionally but personally. So. Yay! 2016. <laughs> I'm all about positivity this year. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.